the li we're live. live. Hi guys. Hi guys, it's me, the TS and Cortez. Cortez, you drunker than a motherfucker tonight, Rachel. Ooh, bitch, what did you put in that goddamn drink, bitch? Tell her just put a little water, a little ice, a little water, a little soda. I'm drunk as a motherfucker. Thank you, next. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight we talked about a lot of stuff on the court ledger. You guys watched you guys watched the lady get runned over. We were really sad <laughs> yes. for the lady getting runned over on the outside. Yeah, she got runned over. Girl. She got hit by. She got hit by a speeding, speeding vehicle. <laughs> I don't know how fast the vehicle was going, but it was speeding. Jamel, do we have any callers in the queue? Jamel. <laughs> Did we? Did we still go on? Jamel. <laughs> Jamel. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Jamel. Hey, can you hear me now? I can hear you now, baby. All right, yeah, you got some. Okay, so before we open up the open up the, the phone lines, Cortez, I, I gave you only Bacardi. Are you are you allergic to Bacardi? Oh, feeling he hot? You okay? I mean, you're not too jangly. Why he over there about to come out his stuff? Cortez, you had Bacardi and cranberry juice. It was good. Oh, that's what it was. I, 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 I ain't no really, um, I'm not no drinker. So if I call two trays right now to send them to your room, just to, <laughs> He's getting down. Just to lick your ass real quick, would you, would the alcohol help it or hurt it? It might wake me up. Two long dick trays and deep bottoms. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> The hair that I'm wearing tonight is by Vixen Hair. This hair is beautiful, wet, and wet. I'm going to post it on my Instagram. It's so beautiful. Cortez, we got to take our picture together, too. Before we, before we, yeah. I know you feeling it, but and you you in a mellow state. You like me when it comes to weed. That's why I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed because weed mellows me out. Right. Did you like the way I asked you for a million dollars earlier tonight on the bench? Yes. And I don't have it. <laughs> so I just sucked it up for no reason, bitch. So, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, everybody. Hey, we talked about so much stuff. Like, we talked about the flu shot. Like, listen, y'all don't get no flu shot out here in these streets because, bitch, you're going to die. Um, also, uh, we talked about the forklift and, and Donald Trump. We're going to definitely set that man free. That man ain't do nothing wrong out here in these streets. Let that man go. That fork live, you know, just go and listen, but you just you just did it wrong. Give him a flu shot. He out of here. Uh, what else did we talk about tonight, guys? We talked about spousal support. How many of you girls out there in these streets paying spousal supports for the niggas that y'all sleeping in the bed with? Cortez called Tasha out on the bench tonight. Tasha, we, you, we know who you are. You were eating raven noodles. Why, why the husband... Was eating steak. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to borrow forty dollars from Cortez. He said he didn't have it. Mm -mm. Not to give you while your man over there eating at Ruth Chris. Uh uh. She traded all the food stamps in to buy the steak. Mm -hmm. So she's called a dick. Is it a dick demon? Is she uh uh. She's dick dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you spell that for us, Cortez? Dick dizzy. D i c k. D I Z Z Y. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've never been Dick Dizzy, Cortez? Yes, I have. I ain't gonna lie. What it made you do? Go to jail, go to hell. Cortez, you done been to jail. Okay. That's mm -hmm. a good question. <laughs> you have. What you, you, you done been to jail? Yeah, you been fighting stuff. He kids that wasn't even his. And I was Wait, like, kids is not yours. Mm -hmm. He want to be stepmama. Oh, he playing with the R.S. Thank you, next. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Jamil, go ahead and open up the lines. Let's get a couple of calls in. The call number, the call in number is 515. Listen, uh, 
Jeremy, while you, oh, your fingers are greasy, I'll do it. What you want, man? No, I'll do it. I'll, I'll bend over Cortez and do it really quick. Yeah. Scott, don't you watch me back there. I know you like to see balls hang while you're from the back. <laughs> five, one, five. <laughs> Here you go with that screaming shit, Jamel. What? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that screaming bullshit. Hey, Jamel. You hear Cortez? What? What's the ass ass code, Jamel? On 982. 9882. No, 982884. Mm. Now, how you do this goddamn pin? How you. Okay. <laughs> I'm pinning it now. All right, y'all. The call in number is 515 604 9300. Access code 982884. And you are live with the TS and the Cortez. The phone number is. Wait a minute. Did I say that already? <laughs> I think I might have had a little bit too much to drink, too. All right. So open up the phone now. Open up the line, bitch. Oh, baby. Uh, they can call, call right. in, bitch. Oh, you! Oh, it's read time. Uh, 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 call in, bitch. It's read time, rapper. Come on and call in, bitch. Cortez. Oh, I think I'm a Cortez. It's okay. Cortez wants to read tonight. You already know who it is. What? Me, Dina from New Jersey. What's up, Dina? Dina. Dina. Hey, Dina. Hey, boo. Hey, darling. Hi, Maddie. Hi, baby. <laughs> Cortez, I, I called Cortez when he was on his way there. I am so excited. I couldn't wait for him to get there. Child, listen, y'all. I don't fuck. I love, I love me some Cortez. Dina Collins Burrell. You know who it is. Yes, yeah, boo. I love you too, boo. Dina, I don't. <laughs> Dina. I got my dick shine on too. You got your dick shine on, girl. Dina, I don't fuck that the church money, child. I don't gave Cortez too much to drink. I know you. I know. Hey, look, Dina, Dina, you know I'll drink. So, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Three of my favorite people. Thank Giselle, you. Maddie. Yes, ma'am. I got all three of y'all together in one room. I'm just like, oh, I'm, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I don't know what to do with Listen, Dina, so I what did you... I all three of you guys so what, much. What did you think about the docket tonight? Oh, it was good, but Cortez, no, he usually turn up. He be turning up, honey. He be listening. He don't show. He don't throw shade, girl. He throw the whole tree. But listen, I gave him too much to drink. I, I'm a. <laughs> Yeah, I drank a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> I drank a little too much. It's small too. So. No, you yeah, I, I drank a, a little too much. Hilarious! I love you guys. Cortez is well, fucked anyway, up. Let's talk about the doctor before my time is up. I was gonna tell you, Maddie. Let me tell you, Funky Dineva. I'm glad you took a stand on that. Let me tell you, some kids are just special. Goddamn it! Everybody, all kids ain't the cutest goddamn kids in the world. What you gonna do? I mean, she's rich, so why would anybody get mad, you know? It's I mean, it's a good point. I mean, I know, but I, I, I get it why people, like a lot of people say whatever, you know, and I, I personally feel, Daniva is very quick-witted, but very timely, like it's, it's Daniva re will read you out your shoes, bitch, that's just Ooh. what's going to happen. And my yeah, thing he was is, just trying to be funny. He, it was you know, a, it was. I, I, I'm not upset at him. But what you didn't have on Ooh. the docket tonight was that Nicki Minaj her new video. That shit is fire. Good form. Oh yeah, good form is good. I, I honestly have to say oh, that, that I, shit is fire. You I, need to let me tell you when you talk to Nicki, because I know you talk to her. Uh -huh. You tell her to check out some new music. Tell her to check to check out Timothy J. Check out check out Money. Boy, YD, check out Stax Cartel. Listen, we need some new up-and-coming music. And listen, there's enough money for everybody. Jeremy, give him some water. Yeah, thank you, baby. And listen, now, I have to say that I think that that Nikki, that this last video is one of Nikki's best videos. This good form video is very good. She turned me on, girl. I got her. Yes, fine-ass Nikki, yes. Mm. Yep. And the other last thing I was gonna say, um, uh, Patty, where are you coming to Jersey? We getting it together. We got to come after the snow, though, girl. I can't do none of the snow. I still got balls. I don't yeah, need them to fall off due to the snow. <laughs> <laughs> R. Kelly, 
Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your pets, honey. Castrate that nigga. That nigga need to be castrated. But Cortez yeah. said he won't R. Kelly Ball, so shit. I mean, they got somewhere to go. Period. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, might, I might have been a little drunk yeah. when I said that shit. Girl, because I was looking at you like, girl, you want R. Kelly Balls? Okay. I think I was a little drunk when I said that shit. Pass the peace like we used to do. <laughs> Jamel, don't start on that damn screen. Well, anyway, I just called to tell you guys, you know already how much I love you. Don't, and, and, and Maddie, please, still have to do the live, but come to Jersey. I am, I, I promise. So we, I am, thank you, I love, baby. I love, I love you, too. I love you, too, baby. Love you, uh, Cortez. Love you, too, boo. Talk to you later. Yes, bye -bye. ma'am. All right. Bye -bye. I love this hair, Cortez. Thank you, boo. Is this sold in? What? All right, next call up, call up, five, six, two, six. Cortez, don't thank It's the Queen's Supreme Court after show. Thank we're just getting medicine and Cortez. What's your name when you call up from a what's your judgment? Go ahead, call I know you straight. I'm a straight. Uh, my name is Jeff uh, Butler. Hey, hey Jeff. Up, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Hi, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Y'all, Jeff is a uh, straight male. <laughs> Jeff, hi, it's me. Yeah, <laughs> Hello, okay, Jeff. I'm going to just start off by saying this. Um, my wife, uh, man, be looking at me like I am fucking crazy when I tell you because I'll be over here dying. I watch every show. Thank you. Miss uh, Madison, <laughs> you know, because I comment a lot. Yeah, you, I know, Jeff. Jeff. Madison, I, acted, I accidentally called you during this because I couldn't get the Instagram live, so I just had to deal with I'm watching the show over again while I'm talking to you. So uh, oh, you okay. Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Butler. Jeff Butler. That's that's, that's Jeff, Jeff Butler. Butler. I just want to say that you know it is a lot of straight men out here. Man, well, if you a man, you, you should not be worried about that man. I watch y'all. I love y'all. Exactly. Death, my wife that's be right. Like she be, you know what I mean. So, you know, I got got a couple things to say. Cortez, you did great, man. You know, don't Thank worry you. about all the negative negativity, man. You did great. They can suck. They, hold on, look. The, all the negativity. Uh, thank you. All the negativity can lick my grandmother's ass since she's been dead five years. <laughs> what, I earlier, what I tell you earlier, you ain't got no hate and you're not doing it right. Listen, Jeff, where are you guys exactly. located? Where are you where are you and your wife located? <laughs> I want I want to I want you guys to come out to the to a live taping. I'm in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Oh, you in Iowa. What's close over there? See what I tell you, <laughs> and I really watch you guys. Well, I do. Well, Jeff, what's close to Iowa that we can bring the live show there? Because I can't, I don't know about Cedar Chicago, Falls. <laughs> we got Chicago, I got Des Moines, Kansas City is five hours Chicago. away, St. Louis is about four and a half hours. Well, what about. Hey, man, I'm, I'm willing to go anywhere. What about Wait, Chicago? Man, go well, where, well, how far is Chicago, baby? Yeah, Chicago is about three hours. Oh, well, we coming to Chicago on March 11th. March 11th, yeah, the Queen Supreme Court will be loud, loud, and in color. Yes. <laughs> call, in, uh, call in. Call in, haters. I see y'all. Oh, uh, Cortez ready to read. <laughs> call in. Uh, call in. I'm woke now, bitch. Call in. <laughs> call, I didn't drink this goddamn water. Call in. Step into the light, Carolyn. <laughs> Step into the goddamn light, bitch. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff, thank you. Listen, Jeff, you gotta, I got to I gotta gift you. I got to gift you and your wife. Uh, two tickets for the show. So when we when we put the uh, the location and stuff out, I'm gonna gift you and your wife a ticket a piece to the show to come on out VIP and have a good time with the girls, honey. <laughs> oh girl. man, so you go. I'm in here happy as happy as hell right now, man. That's right. <laughs> come on out, I'll laugh and have a good time. I can get to one of the shows because man, like like literally, man. You know what I mean? You know because. You guys have a lot of good opinions. You guys talk about a lot of good things. It ain't, it ain't, you know, I, I see it as a real good current event. You know what I mean? So I don't see nothing wrong. Like the R. Kelly thing, that's real. Yeah, well, listen. Because, uh, okay. Because now, they should have been, they should have locked this nigga up for a <laughs> now, now, Jeff, listen, you're a straight man, and you know R. Kelly, R. Kelly been in this thing for a long time, and there's lots of things that R. Kelly has done that we have overlooked because we've been over there, you know, uh, 12 playing and you know keeping it on the down low. Now I do think that R. Kelly needs to be neutered. People don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a dog. Oh, yeah. He's definitely a censor too. You said what, baby? R. Kelly messed with Aaliyah's sisters also. Oh no! Oh my God! You see, you see, people don't know that side of the story. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
This is why R. Kelly is not welcome in certain places in Chicago. Because of a sexual fact. That's why he doesn't live in Chicago. Because they don't welcome him there like that. Because right. the niggas, and I, excuse me when I say this word, but the niggas on the street, the street niggas know what happened. Oh, and so. there's a lot of older cats that don't fuck with R. Kelly, and he's not allowed to go <laughs> to the set. That's why when you see his videos, he's in subways or things like that in Chicago with his own people, not other niggas from the neighborhood, because they don't fuck with R. Kelly. Oh, so he was really giving away that 12 play. Mm-hmm. So when I'm telling you that, so niggas was really it. at his ass for that Aaliyah shit. They still been mm-hmm. at him for that. I know some of Leah cousins that still at R. Kelly ass. Whenever they try to see him, they shoot at the nigga or they try to do whatever they can do. So that right there in itself, for you to be a damn near 30-year-old man and you mess with a 14, 15-year-old girl, mm. something was wrong with the parents there too. So that started there also. So, you know, but well, how old do you think? How old is R. Kelly now? He's like 15? Like that, no. R. Kelly well, about 16. <laughs> how how old is R. Kelly now? Is he like 50? He like his, well, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, he's about 51, about 51. I'm 43. He, he got, he, yeah, he needs to be neutered. Oh, he, <laughs> that really pisses me off. I have seven daughters. <laughs> you got seven daughters, Jeff? Damn. I have, I have seven daughters. Jeff, yeah, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that dick. Jeff, you don't play, baby. You slay that He's not really my son, but he's my son. I've raised him since he was eight years old. Oh, that's I your told son. His mom, when I was with her, that I knew my son was this. You know how many niggas? You know how many teachers on his flat? You know how many people out of beat they ass over my baby? He's he 27 years old and he's still my baby. Damn oh, right, oh, damn I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. Damn right. That's, that's why I fuck with him. He does everything. I've been to everything. <laughs> he drag shows? Oh, I love Jeff. Own, his own real dad has his own Jeff. We all need daddies like this. We need Jeff as a daddy. That's Team my Jeff. Man, when I tell you all. <laughs> 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 we all need daddies like that, baby. We I'm Team Jeff right, right now. now. Everybody in the room is Team Jeff yeah. right now. We fuck with you, Jeff. You are definitely getting it. These damn daddies. These damn daddies be trying to make you play football and sports. I don't want to play no goddamn football. I want to play double dutch. Look, I just had an argument. I'm going to tell you this. I just had an argument with one of my nephews the other day. This, he goes, this man going to tell me, and that's how I know these young kids, they don't have the frame of mind that you need to have. All right? He, we were arguing with him. He argued with me telling me because my son gay because I let him play with baby fuck. You stupid fuck. Ooh. Don't, don't Ooh. say that. Don't say that because that's the thing to do. My son can play with cars, play dolls, any fucking thing you want to. There ain't no law in America that says race cars for only boys. That's right. There's no law in America that says Barbie dolls only for girls. There is no law that says that. Yes, Jeff. Preach. I'm giving my child any opportunity they want in their life because they're insane. Jeff, listen. Let me tell you something. That's right, Jeff. That's right, Jeff. Go off, Jeff. Go off in this bitch, Jeff. Go off in this bitch. Because I'm listening to so many stupid jokes. No, man. No, that's my son. I love him to death. He don't curse around me. He's very respectful. He respects my wife. You know, he, 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 come on, man, he'll go through hell or high water for any one of his brothers or sisters. Jeff, you my step daddy. <laughs> Jeff, you my step, that's my step daddy. Jeff, you is my step daddy. <laughs> Jamel, Jamel, stop doing Jeff like that. That's my step daddy. Believe me, I tell you, I get pissed off when they say things about Cortez or when they say things about, you know, uh, about you, uh, Miss Matt. That's right. I be wanting to stick them. I got to hold my tongue. F- fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Don't be homophobic. Fuck them. Because, because bitch ass niggas is homophobic. Real men ain't. That's right, cause it take a real man to take a big dick. Do you know how many? Are, do you know how many homophobic? <laughs> you know how many homophobic I mean, niggas out in fuck? I, I love y'all to death. I love you, Jeff. All right, you, all right, Jeff. love you too, Jeff. Stay. When Cortez said what he did, now, this is what I'm gonna tell you. 
the film right here for this funny though, okay? Yeah, yeah. Because I died laughing, okay? Because I didn't really wrote you this thing. When of course, you said that when he did for the deed when he went to jail, I swear to God, I expected y'all to bust out of the song what y'all did for the deed for. Shit, I went to jail for the dick. Oh, I snapped my no, mama man. for the dick. No, no, no. Hey, I trapped my leg no, for the no, dick. No, hey. I run a mile from the dick. Hey, hey. hey. I even run for the dick. If Jeff, the dick. <laughs> Jeff, well, listen, you are always welcome. I love you too, and you're always welcome. I'm definitely going to keep watching. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep commenting. I'm trying to figure out how to be. No, because Jeff Madison, Lord Jeff, ain't nobody never been. Wait, wait, Jeff, you're always here? welcome. Hold on, you guys. Jeff, you're always welcome here at the Queen Supreme Court. <laughs> Jeff, you're welcome. We're gonna roll the red carpet out to you because the gays love you too, Jeff. We love you, Jeff. Jeff wants some DNA. Yeah. <laughs> All right, baby. Man, Thank man, you, Jeff. Man, 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 you too. Look how long we've been on there. Child, I lost my Jeff. How many tickets you sending? One Jeff two. wants some two. Big ass. I want Jeff and his wife to come. I, listen. We need more people like Jeff. No shame. Uh-uh. We, we do. We need more fathers like Jeff. We need more men like Jeff. We need more men like that. Because a lot of men ain't standing up for what. Because listen. Let me tell you something. My brothers, my two brothers will fuck you up about their sisters. My brothers too. Will fuck you all the way up. And I will too. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you up about they peoples. You don't. You you. We need more people like that. Like we flesh and blood at the end of the day. You feel me? Shit. And we need more men that got the love for us like Jeff do and love us. Period. In another way, maybe not in the other way, but in another way. Jamel. <laughs> All right, baby. We need that. Jamel, come on, let the lies, let the lies, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow, uh, let it uh, flow. Uh, come on in. Everything's gonna work out right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> let it flow, let it flow. <laughs> Approach with caution, bitch. Hello? Hey, baby. Go ahead. Hi. Come on. You live, is you live? I'm sorry, hi, Maddie. Hi, baby. I love you so. I love you too. Um, my question is, and, and I don't mean to come off in a negative negative way, but it's about funky um Daniva. Okay. Um, are you okay with his behavior as a guest? Do you feel like he <laughs> would communicate more with the other co hosts? I mean, I feel like he thinks it's his show and I know that it's mm. about being messy and entertaining, but I feel like he kinda of takes it too far. Well, I mean, okay, I have to be honest. When when Daniva and I linked up, I knew who Daniva was. Right. I already know Daniva's quick with it. I right. love Daniva's commentary. I love I love the way now I do think Daniva Daniva is he's not a person that you want to back and forth with unless your tongue is just as is as vicious as his. Right. But you know, I have had talks to Daniva on certain things like, girl, don't say that, girl, or or we talk with each other as and, and sometimes we say, well, Daniva, they're not really ready for that, or they may not get that that stem of the joke. But I love Daniva. I do. Like Daniva mm. and myself have had many on on air talks and long off air talks. Oh, excuse me. Did I say talk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she said talk. Long, long off air talks with each other about life cycles, things in life. We've learned things from each other. And Daniva will tell you that, you know, he was really weary of trans people until he really got into the company of me and, you know, and X, Y, and Z. Now, I do think that there are times that I'm going to sit down with Daniva and we're really going to go over a, a whole, like, when we, when we continue to do live shows here and there. And that's why I make the bench rotate because I don't want you guys to get you know, so because Daniva has his own thing going, I have my own thing going, and the bitch is gonna always rotate because I need different personalities in. But I know that Daniva and my personality meshes with each other, and I can take Daniva's tongue. Daniva could be going at me, bloop, 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 like really quick, and I can just turn around and be like, child, your pride, you know, and I know that it's gonna send Daniva the way we're gonna laugh or whatever. Now, when it came down to the stuff with the blue ivy, you as y'all can, if you watch the video, you do see me say, girl, you know, because I've already had my situation with the B.I. when I talked about blue ivy at that time when she had on those shoes. I wasn't really <laughs> saying, you know, but I, the feet, her feet looked it really, but she's still a growing girl. You remember when she had on them long ass <laughs> shoes and they had on them shoes? And she pretty, but those shoes was long as hell. <laughs> but I wasn't, I wasn't proud of her like that, but the shoes 
quite long. <laughs> but you gotta understand, she's a growing child. It had it had nothing to do with her beauty. It had nothing to do with that because the girl is still growing. She's still growing into herself. So you know, <laughs> he apologized. Hell. Okay, well, Maddie, I feel like the, y'all should go more in on the, the docket and less on each other. And so I understand you could take his time, but it just seems like y'all should be going at the docket. I get it. It, just, it goes too deep. I, I, I get it and I understand and I do think that we have to I do because this is all new like the touring thing the live thing is all new for me and him both so I do think that I need to we need to sit down and really structure structure because sometimes Dineva's in another city I'm in another city I fly Dineva in and we do the show right off the cusp of our brain like right there off the cusp and he may feel like I done got him one week and he's like let me get this hold again hold let me get you together about my pie Oh, you know, and you know, I, I think that I think with better structure, things like that will not will not happen. Okay, thank you, Maddie. I love you. I love yourself. Doing what you do and forget the haters. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Mm-hmm. All right, next caller. Next caller two six seven three. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge T.S. Madison and Cortez. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Hello. Go ahead, Carla. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's me, T.S. and Cortez. Hi, we're here. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's me, <laughs> the T.S. Go ahead, Carla. Caller, it's me, T.S. Jenner. Timothy hey, White. Am I live? Yes, you are. Yes. What's up, Maddie? What's up, Cortez? Hey, Hi, baby. How you doing? Hey, this is Z out of Fort Worth, Texas. Cortez, hey. you know me for show. Hey, boo. You see me riding up. I've been following him since day one. And Maddie might... Yes, yeah, love you. ...like from forever. <laughs> you know, um, the show looks good tonight. Uh, I'm going to kind of bring up something that... ...is related to the doctor. Like, Maddie, you got a bush, right? Rest in peace. Huh? She said what? <laughs> bush, you yes. Bush. Yes, I did. Yeah. I did. Yes. All right. I'm from Dallas, Fort Worth. And so, uh, people that are current, with current events know that we celebrate, like, a Juneteenth or whatever. Right. Right. So we had this, uh, white cop, lady cop, that killed this young, innocent black man who thought it was, uh, Yes, you I remember that, that story. Yes, we've we've covered that story many. Yeah, so they was like gonna throw it away, and um, she got a uh, murder case Friday. So we got a whole new June peak right here in Dallas Fort Worth. Yes. So on a serious note, it's a celebration right here in Texas, all over again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Oh, right and on June tenth. Thank you. Well, I mean, as as she should, she should she should not have gotten manslaughter. She should have been charged with murder. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we just got it. So it's a good thing for Texas. Being yes. a Republican state, being black folks. Right, being right. Being uh, business black people, you know what I mean? Okay, may I ask you a question? It, what, you were, so you were not offended about what I said about Bush, were you? Hell no. I'm right. Just, uh, for what? Uh, offended yeah, for what? Uh, I'm on the way on your level with Bush. Right, because uh, you know what was making me upset, and I got to say this, and I know a lot of people not going to like this when I say this. I saw a lot of black people posting rest in peace to George Bush. I'm like, bitch, did y'all forget? Are you kidding me? Did you forget things that the, this president did? Sorry, right past that that this whole administration did? Are you really serious? Yes, dude. But I'm gonna do the I will do the repass and we're gonna get him some um we're gonna get him some baked rock quail bags. <laughs> we're also gonna give him some unclean, excuse me, semi-clean chitlins. You know, yeah, two yeah, pieces yeah. of whole I'm head cheese. Too, and a whole good rest style. Yeah. For old IP. That's right, bro. Right. Yeah. Let that nigga go. 
Let that nigga go. Listen, we're going to be in Dallas, loud, loud, and in color, in Dallas, Texas, on February the 11th. So get you. Listen, I'll be. Yeah, I'm already in that thing. Yes, ma'am. I saw you twice. I saw you once in Houston, Dallas, before, and I'm coming to the food too. Oh, yes. And we're going to have a good time in Dallas, Texas, baby. We're going to turn up in Dallas. Trust me. <laughs> February 11th, Dallas. Cortez, you strong. All right. Well, let me Thank you for um, keeping your shows going. You're such a mentor to so many people. And uh, keep rocking that thing. Cortez, love you, boo. Thank L- you, love baby. Love you, too, boo, boo. Thank you. All right. Enjoy y'all. All right. Hey. Hey, Carla. <laughs> call her one, three, four, three. Um, t- hold on, wait, wait, wait. Show Timothy said team. Cortez is cute, but just need a makeover. Bitch, your mammy need a makeover. He said you cute, Cortez. <laughs> but he said, but he said I need a makeover. Hey, what kind of shit is that? You, you gonna give me a couple minutes? Hi, Hi, baby. How you doing? I need so much. I I'm gonna need so him to call in. <laughs> Make the money. Tis the I season to be to be coinsy. Fa la 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 la. And I haven't been able to watch like that, and I'm so glad I have off tomorrow so I can watch tonight. I miss you so much. Give me some sugar, girl. You know I'm about to turn up. Yeah, yes, you know I'm about to switch over sides, child. I'm about to switch sides. I'm about to be beside you too, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to bend over Hi, to the side. Head. Hey, boo, how you doing? I'm good. I enjoyed you. Don't listen to any negativity. Girl, girl, they, they can, baby, they can kiss my ass, baby. I was lit, drunk. I don't drink. And I had, listen, y'all. I, I don't drink. Cortez, don't make the people think that I did give you a little bit. Uh-uh, too no, no. But I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I gave you a spoonful too much. <laughs> Thank you, boy. I, I love you too. But, but uh, girl, uh, I got haters. Um, I got haters. These bitches on here, the same haters. But I'm not going to call y'all name out. Here go one. You ain't see me. You don't see. You ain't knowing me. You ain't gonna speak to me. Bitch, I see you. You gonna stay in the comments. I ain't gonna call your name, ho. <laughs> yeah, you, you. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> you ain't gonna speak to me now, bitch. You irrelevant, ho. <laughs> I enjoyed you, Cortez. I didn't mind the, the mellowness. I enjoyed it. Th- thank you, boo, because you know what I give. Yes, Cortez is just flewed out. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm here. <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah y'all, y'all know what I what I give. Yeah, but, but I'm just, just but I did put a little too much in your cup, Cortez. I did. I put a too much in Bacardi. Hey, baby. I wanted to um talk about um how that guy Jeff called and said that he's a straight guy who watches you. Jeff, yeah, his name Jeff. Uh-oh. Well, well, um. I'm a straight woman who watches you, and yes. I send your videos to to my straight brother, and he loves them. Oh, he loves your videos. Thank you. Well, well, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Especially your um. <laughs> what, <laughs> sister? Now you know I got all kinds of videos okay. out here these streets. <laughs> um, short, shorty, uh, shorty, shorty, bitch. Get- now you know I got all kind of videos out here in these streets, sister. So you know I don't need you to send them the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Listen, I made a mistake and sent one of my mama in the email and she been wearing me out ever since, child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, we love the um, um listed tea hours. I'm so glad you re-uploaded those. Oh, I yeah, those are my good videos. stories. Those are my stories, my lifting tea stories. Those are the stories of my life. I got a few more coming, child. I got a few more. They're so funny. Yes. They're so funny, and he loves them. I told him... I- when I first discovered you, I said, you got to watch these videos. And they were gone. So I felt stupid because they weren't nowhere to be found. So I'm so glad you re-uploaded Thank that. you. I, listen, I love you, girl. I love you for doing that. And listen, I just really feel like that we do need, we need a uni- unification. Is that a word? Unification. Unity. Unity. We need unity. Unification. unification. Between our community, between yeah, our we people, need we need that. I ain't said no damn companionship, <laughs> but we need this between our pe- like. I, I just don't think. I think that we're coming into a time where people should not be. People should love people regardless of their sexual orientation, their gender identity, their exactly. color. I think, and, and 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 you should not not want to laugh at something because I'm trans. Like I'm, a, I tell jokes. Right. So you know, and the people be like, "Oh, you watching you know, that?" You know. That goes in, um, to what you were saying with the Dwight, the Dwight basketball player guy. Uh huh. 
the, I agree with you. The truth is, the excitement is in the secret, honestly. Yeah. If you yeah. have to come out and say, yeah, that shit happened, who cares? Yeah. It wouldn't be exciting no more. People get off on the secret. But I, the excitement is in the secret. Now, I don't know who raised them girls, because back um, where I'm from, we don't kiss and tell. But listen, it's just like when Magic Johnson came out and told the children that he was that he had HIV. Now you think he the only one on his team had it? They was they be sharing the same right. the same queens and and men and women's and men's and things. You don't think they somebody else got it? But he was the only one that come out. And you know, it, we don't even really it's a shame. We don't even really that they have to hide. Yeah, we don't really even talk about that too much no more with Magic Johnson. <laughs> Now, we do talk about EJ right. with those stockings and things on. <laughs> and I love my EJ, but I just want him to get a good pair of nice <laughs> lace stockings that really, really... <laughs> e- EJ gives me um, Tamar. <laughs> can I say one more thing? Yes, baby. Uh-huh. Can I say one more thing? Oh, oh he, he really do one thing. <clears throat> oh, Nene. Hmm? I appreciate your video Nene of yeah. you just talking in the car, <laughs> educating the people. Yes. Because, I think um, as a uh, straight uh-huh. girl, you give us so much advice, and I feel like all straight girls all over the world need to listen to you. They should. You like, me so much. Yes. And you're so real. And there's a lot of stuff that us straight girls are very blind to. We think uh, we know. Yeah. We think we know. Yeah. Well, I, I, we have no idea. And you know what I love? I love that Miss Mary be back there. Miss Mary be back there backing me up with it, honey, because she done seen the men. I love it. She done seen the men pulling me all over in traffic after I done told them, I got a dick, honey! <laughs> she done seen them running me down in traffic. You know. But I just want to tell you I appreciate you, and I'm thankful for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you. Thank you very um, much for that. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cortez, you ain't finna be sitting up here reading my Tamar now. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. You ain't finna be reading my Tamar. He he do he do look like Tamar to me. I'm serious. Tamar is not ugly. He's not ugly they to me. They just both bald. They just both bald. You said he. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying. That wasn't I wasn't. Camera, not me. Go ahead. So how you gonna equate? You think because EJ got a look? I just want EJ to get a good pair of stockings. All that money EJ got. <laughs> EJ got long ass money. Oh. EJ got so much of the money that we don't know the kind of money EJ got. I just want him to get a good, and I love my sister. I ain't never met my sister, but I love her. But I just want her to get a good, good pair of stockings. Yeah, you know, and I love you. 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 Junior Miss, <laughs> you're a woman. Junior. But, and she, I know. But I know, and I'm, and I'm glad, I'm happy that EJ's visibility is there. Like EJ stands for for androgyny, gender nonconforming, <laughs> all of the things, you know. Mm-hmm. And but I just still want my sister to get a good stocking. That's just like if somebody out there love T.S. Madison, bitch, get that wig right, right there, Madison. Period. We love you, but get that corner of that wig together. You got too much motherfucking money to not have your wig together. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna accept it's my, that. It's mine together, girl. It's yeah. my wig together. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna accept that because I'm, I'm gonna go back and look at my wig and be like, you know what? That wig is fucked up on the side. Yeah. Every time I see my baby EJ, I'll be like, EJ, girl, just let me get you. Girl, let me, I'll be like, niece. Like, girl, let me go in there and get you a pair uh, of those. Oh, all of them Hermes plates, you can't get no stockings. Them, get the stockings. Betty, what, what place do you recommend you get his stockings from? Big and tall. Big and tall. Get out there, Julia Mrs. Big and tall. She's an Amazon. Burlington T-T. Factory. She an Amazon. T N T. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next caller, please. Opportunity to talk about Wendy Whitdale Bartholomew or 
Marenthal, Rufus Clyde, Theodis Pookie, L. Dover, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker Williams. AKA Shake like a, a wisdom tooth. A walking wisdom tooth. <laughs> Big at the top and little as hell at the goddamn bottom, bitch. With those baseball bat legs and those oversized knees. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> Like the capital she's capital P. P. She's shaped like the capital P. <laughs> Wendy, I love you, girl. But I want you to tell Stop that, stealing. I want you to tell that queen with that turning that sweater on that be watching my shit with that turning that sweater. That wear that turning that sweater all year round, winter, spring, summer, air fall. <laughs> and that white bitch, what's that white bitch name? Stephanie. Is that Stephanie white bitch Stephanie. Susan. Uh, Susan. 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 Whatever that bitch's name over there at that Wendy show. <laughs> If you pop up and you're doing a cooking segment with your babe, I'm coming to New York and I'm going to fuck you up. Oh, Lord. Because I see you in the car. I see you driving the people around in the back seat. Oh, I saw you, bitch. I'm going to bitch so next dish. Bitch, I see you Girl, driving the people in the back yeah, seat. She is, she is watching Manda, baby. She all she got her oh, little court God. session now, bitch. bitch you bitch. need to understand that the Queen's Court was me and Kaya Shimon show, bitch. Okay, that was me and her shit together, bitch. I see you. We see you. We see you. Sitting up there with that motherfucking skinny ass body, that barber ass head. Them knees with them goddamn them baseball bat legs. She was like, she was like a blow pop. <laughs> <laughs> like a wisdom too. <laughs> We now, watching bitch, you over here now. That, that bitch, that bitch, I don't know what, that bitch made like a pickle with legs. Just because I'm reading you, bitch, that don't mean I don't love you. That bitch shaped you. like a pickle with legs, y'all. Just because I read you, bitch, don't mean that I don't love you. But, bitch, you know what you, you knew, you know that I'm an impact on popular culture because it's memes and shit of me everywhere. So, bitch, you hoes can't act like y'all don't know who I am. You know that I'm an impact on popular culture. You know me and Kaya put motherfucking the, that court system shit. We put that shit on the map. Okay? So, we see you. I'm looking at you and Jewish Jerry ass big nose Springer coming out with his court. So, I'm watching you bitches. I see y'all. Okay? If you come out with a cooking show with your with your husband and you in there rubbing on his nuts, like I be rubbing on my bay nut, I'm coming to New York and I'ma whoop your ass. Can I just? I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> it's okay, man. So I, I love you too. I love everything about you. Cortez. Hey, boo. Baby, we go we go back to Jared Scott Page days, and from there, I. I started following Madison. So oh, that, that's I how many years that been about? You guys are around the same time. About and six. I just want to say, Madison, I love you. I love Miss Mary, and I love how she loves for a book. That's right. That's my baby. baby. All right, I love I love you too, and my haters love me too. They watching. <laughs> baby, they can, they, baby, these motherfuckers, they mad, bitch. You would never be in a prison with, uh, with the fat TS. They, they, they would never be in the same room as TS Madison, so they mad, bitch. The only way you're gonna see this bitch is on the camera, ho. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I love you guys. All right, love you too. Thank you, baby. I'm sorry, I ain't mean to read like that. I want to read, I just was stating an opinion. A read is never a read when it's a fact. Right, mm. right. You said she said like a wisdom too? Uh, wisdom too. Call us, call us, Baseball bat legs. Uh, <laughs> she got those acorn squash knees, bitch. Medicine. And Cortez, what's the name? Where you call us from? What's your judgment on tonight's pleasure? And be having that damn white, that get that damn black ass queen with them Mr. Motherfucker Snuffleupagus glasses <laughs> on and that turtleneck sweater that he wear year round. Woo, no! Wendy, we got it. Put that turtleneck sweater on, girl, year round, these. It ain't that cold in the building, girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, catch that T, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. How we doing? Hi, baby. Oh, hey, Carla. Oh, I like that Carla voice. Uh, Carla, I like your voice. Uh, oh, you go from Instagram. Uh, my name is Fiona. Go from Instagram. Um, I'm calling from Los Angeles. Hey, Los Angeles. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So first off, I just want to say, um, first off, you know, honor to God. But second of all, <laughs> you know, the comments. 
so worried about the comments, brother. I want you to live in the moment. This is an opportunity for you, and you should just go here and enjoy this platform that you have. You got so much going on for you that you're so concerned about what people saying about you in the comments. You really need to be at already. So I just really want you to get out of the comments and enjoy the moment because I'm looking at your own body language and everything, and it's just like, you know, you got to live in the moment. You're not even commenting on what people question. So get out of the comments. Second of all, um, Madison, you look amazing tonight. Thank you, um, baby. You said that we possibly would get Miss Mary on the, um, on the bench one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Miss Mary, you know they've been requesting you on the bench over there. Why? What they want me to They do? just want you to lay hands on America. <laughs> I can't do it. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. <laughs> they just want you We're going to put a special they segment. You know what? We're going to put a special uh -huh. segment. I, that if it's about what's going on in the world, I don't, I'm not into all that stuff y'all into. <laughs> I don't care about that. You just give her one segment. I just pray for her because one a lot of one things segment, I one see. Topic. I don't like mm. a lot of things that are said. I don't like a lot of things people do. I don't like they still going to do it. So the thing I can do is just pray and keep praying. I ain't got much to talk about. Thank you, like baby. No, but the, the, the gentleman says he appreciates your opinion. Like a lot of people watch they us. Like your view. But for that, for what y'all like, the, the pop culture, all that stuff, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I, that's why I'll be knowing who the people are, who y'all talking about, who... You see how you be asking about all these people? I tell you, I don't know. You do know who do know who Kim Kardashian is, don't you? Yes, I know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> so we give her what's and and one Kelly. time. You do know who R. Kelly is. Yes, I do. I used to love him. Okay. 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 Let me ask this. Let me ask this then. What did Cortez bring for the um for the for the Bush funeral? Did he bring anything that was on that uh that, that menu? What you brought to the menu for Bush? You know I had made. What did you bring something that you want to add to the menus? Bake quail bags. <laughs> <laughs> We had baked quail back, <laughs> fresh cut lawn grass and rice. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's the same person. We had three cans of we had three cans of smoked peppercorn, potted deer meat straight out of Melania's cabinet. A uh, devil rattlesnake eggs, two warm pieces of hog head cheese, <laughs> Spanish cornmeal and yuca. And we had a picture of purple Fabulosa. Chill. That was me. I brought that. Oh, you brought Cortez brought the Fabulosa. Yeah, that's the same person. That's not like a cheap picture. Right <laughs> <laughs> that's the same person. Yeah. If they talking about things about life, then I need you to keep with that other stuff, y'all. Oh, Jamel. Jamel. <laughs> That man for that, right, Cortez. Yeah, don't let none of this. Uh, I, I've learned, and the new year's coming, and I've learned throughout the course of this year, it's difficult because we say a lot of shit. But I've learned not to let the comments Ooh. consume me, and I've learned to people are gonna say things good or bad, whether your show is A one mm -hmm. or whether it's an F plus. It's gonna they're gonna say things whether it's whether you whether you, you, you can look your best, you can do your greatest. They're gonna find if this if it's negativity in the people, they're gonna find something. They're never people that are never positive are gonna always be negative. That's and just what it is. Don't don't like you, no they're never gonna what like you. you. No matter you can be the best or whatever you if they don't like you, they don't like you. That's it. And that's and just if they what's like up. you, they yeah. gonna roll with you. That's they why. Be and this is why, like it's because cause something made me angry the other day. When that, when that situation popped up, and I'm, I have to say this, and then I'm going to let take make, take maybe one or two more calls. When that situation popped up with Doniva, and I saw people rush to the shade room mm -hmm. to say such negative things about the show, about my show. But watch. You know, and then you said people people say, oh, we who watches that anyway? This and the other. I'm like, first of all, we go to sold out rooms, packed houses, this. Bitch, you was never relevant to the situation anyway. Your view, your life, your commentary, your whatever was never relevant to my existence anyway. And I had to, because I, it, some stuff that was in it, I wanted to respond back to, to the people down there. But I decided not to. The only person I responded back to was Claudia. Which Claudia? Claudia, Claudia, Claudia Gangreen, foot-ass Jordan. 
Oh, what she got? Oh. The only reason I responded to that because I feel like this. I said for her to be specific when she makes her statements on bloggers. Right. I get tired of those people who collect TV one checks, girl, reading <laughs> bloggers who have consistent money. You don't if you don't make a YouTube check, bitch, you don't know what how broke a blogger is, girl. You don't know how how much they're not working. You don't know. Girl, because you waiting on your next TV one gig, girl. Right. We be out here in these businesses and in these streets too. Us YouTube bloggers, Facebook bloggers, Instagram, Twitter bloggers. We be out here, girl. Girl, you not eating. You not eating so much harder because, girl, you ain't cashed a Real Housewife check, girl, right. since four, three, four seasons ago. Or the Fox Hole. Or any of that stuff, <laughs> girl. Yeah. The last time I oh, saw you, girl, was on the next fifteen, and I, oh, no. I, I, I asked that her. I said shit. under the comment for her to be. <laughs> For her to be specific, because if you're speaking about Dani, bitch, first of all, this is my show in totality. This is not Daniva's show. This is my show. And then you said bloggers, and then you you said things about bad built. So I'm like, well, you know, I know I, I know I'm bad built, bitch. So I know she's talking about me. <laughs> At least I can say I know I'm bad built. So I know the bitch was saying shit about me, bitch. But can now gain green, mm. gout, mm. crusty foot. Yeah. Bitch, cause you ain't got no ass, and other people got ass, do that don't make you fine ass whole. Can come forth and say anything that would make me feel like girl, but it made me feel like bitch. Just be specific, so right. I can I can so that I can. If you have an issue with Daniva, because Daniva will will read her fulfilled, right? Can but I... but bitch, I will read her backwards. Blood. Your clear have left your body. <laughs> but I mean she's entitled to her opinion but I just felt some type of way about that like I get one thing I get tired of those people when their responses is like oh YouTubers is broke and this person is broke and like, that one is broke and they be the main one they and got they shit. first of all girl I've worked I've worked on television television sets and television studios bitch you got to wait three or four weeks for those checks to come through for you Sometimes to get it anyway months. girl you got to wait for those time girl you need to get you a YouTube channel you need to get your YouTube channel, girl, so you can get your che- your you can get your deposits once a month, girl. <laughs> girl, your yeah. lump sums of deposits once a month, girl. That goes for not just her, for anybody that thinks like that. Mm-hmm. You well, know, well, you have a well, well, segment. Well, where I have a problem, man, if they don't like somebody's show or what they got on that show or who they want to put on that show, and you don't like the way they're running that don't show, watch. start your own. Where you can put who you want on your own show, on your own platform. Don't worry about what somebody else doing with theirs. Make your own. They don't know how to. That's the problem. Well, then shut your mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, then, and then it's all about hate. One thing about black people, they hate to see somebody doing something. Mm-hmm. And they got, they got this whole gang, this whole group, whole gang. They already said they would, what they were going to do. They were going to come and uh, already. attack. See, they it, had told me that it must the other, be, uh, to the earlier today. Must, I had already said this to uh, Matt. They what they, what they, get, they was going to get together, come right over here. The it, same people. Well, thanks for the views. Exactly. <laughs> it must be that they want to do what you're doing, but they, don't, they can't do it. Or they don't have the, what you have to do it. So, and it's more easier to come and say something good than to say something negative. If you don't like something, bypass it, keep going. Right. You don't have to make a response. That's what I do. All right, Jamil, let's take one more call and then we go on because I got to pee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you in luck because that last one was drunk. It did. Well, we're done for the night, ladies and gentlemen. That has been our show, our after show. We love you so much. I got whatever was on my chest off. Okay. Sorry. You feel better now. I wasn't mad about it, but I just get tired of them with the YouTubers. Yeah, they, they talk too much. Why are you the comments? They talk yeah, too much. I get, well, I, well, it was because what Daniva said about uh, what Daniva said about Blue Ivy, and I get it. People miss it. It's but, a joke. Like, it's, but, but, but my thing is, I, my thing is, when I when I go forth, I go forth in specificness. Right. Specificness. Bitch, you saying bloggers with an ass. Shit, but you tiptoe. You're saying bloggers with an ass niece. The blogger with a with a R, R plural. That means more than one. There was only two. So here, girl. Girl, drink you some prune juice, girl, so that gal can come out that foot, girl, honey, out that black toe. <laughs> you crusty ankle bit. Anyway, so anyway, thank you very much. 
for everybody that tuned into the show. We love you. We love you. Love you. We love you long, long time. Thank, thank y'all. Thank you. Love thank y'all. Thank y'all for the views tonight. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, Jamel, for taking on the calls. We love you. And make sure that you get your tickets for New Orleans. We're going to be in New Orleans, girl. Listen, I didn't... Where's my seafood plate that I'm finna eat? This is what I'm really logging off of. Oh, right here. Listen, get your tickets for New Orleans. Get your tickets for New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. Because, baby, listen. I'm about to get off so I can eat this. You hear me? This is the one seafood, okay? <laughs> if you need your, if you here in Atlanta, Atlanta, and you want your one, the one seafood, what's the number, babe? Six, seven, eight. Seven five three five four eight six. Once again. Six seven eight seven five three five four eight six. God is good and God He's good all the time. So get your tickets for the live show. Get your, ooh, get your tickets for the live show in New Orleans, December tenth. This this month this Monday coming. And then if you're here in Atlanta and you're visiting your family for the holidays, okay. And you in Atlanta, and y'all ain't open up the gifts, or you want you put them badass kids to sleep. Come on down to Club True and party up with us, bitch. We're gonna ride Santa's sleigh all the way up and through Atlanta, <laughs> child. Down there at True for the Queen Supreme Court show. Live. Support, support, support. Yeah. With, love, my girl, love Nephi, with my girl Nephi. With my girl Nephi. Woo! Party. And Miss Sophia. And I shamed out our All right, ladies and gentlemen, we go. We love you. Bye.